school in Baltimore. High post Adrian even lowered it to beat. Now you got to finish in there. Here's this time. Here's his first points of green. On the drive, the shot is blocked by Fabian, and Adrian comes away with it. UConn really playing good D. Nice catch and the finish. That's what they're waiting for here in stores. Coach, players got new players trying to adapt. They're missing a couple guys. I thought the career high 12 rebounds. He's equaled that career high tonight. Really playing with a lot of self-assurance. Pretty move by the big fella. Fabian showing a nice. Soft touch with the jump hook. He's got seven to go along with eight rebounds, and there's a, a block shot by Tabit at the other end. Kentucky's developed a fondness for the man in the program. Another block. Great team. Miss Moore will be a superstar type of dandy this year. Lynn had the shot blocked. The beat lays it into the other end, and Rick Scruggs needs a timeout. Get a T.O., baby. Good position inside. Fall, but he's got a 7-3 shot blocker, and Fabit made easy work of that shot attempt. Thou shalt not bring the ball in the lane. That's the message from the University of Connecticut Huskies. I'll tell you their football coach, Randy Etzel, his brother Duke, we see him referee. What a job he's done. There he is in the lane. Great timing on that block shot. Got into that deficit. Sanders and another block by Hashim Thabit. They're getting too many easy baskets. Can't just trade with them. You got to come up with some defensive stops. Price to Thabit for the finish. Thabit should take that in jam. At worst, they'll lose one or two games in conference play. Here's the play they ran earlier with great success. Play let's go down to the other end. Dig a play. Memphis has run several times and Rose, and it's swatted away by Thabit. I tell you what, he never had a face down on a scholastic level. No. <laughs> I mean, that's what to be does so well. Both teams being forced to play good half-court offense. The cutter is the beat on the feed from Adrian. Nice little pass. Good move without to be. Great move without the ball. Since that win over Kentucky, inside Robinson tipped up and in by the beat. That's his third of the night. Wiggins takes it to the middle. Kick out Robinson for the pull-up. The beat with the rebound goes back. That's the way you're supposed to throw it down when you're 7 3. Hashim Thabit. Is that what uh, the coaching staff told him when he was on the bench? When you go up there, <laughs> throw it down. Throw it down. He was just in a hurry. <laughs> there you go. Always throw it away if you can, but that was long enough that it worked. Inside the beat. Look at that touch with the left hand against Connecticut. He lets it all hang out on the floor. The beat down low. He's got nine points in the first seven minutes. It was Flitner. Just not a really good decision. That time. Adrian down low. The beat. Good catch and finish. Seven <laughs> three back. Just hasn't been there for Flitner. He's so hot coming into this game, but hasn't been able to score. But this guy has the beat. Somehow got that one to go as his arm was held. It's number five. Quincy Sarpy in the game for the first time for Gardner Webb. Where did that come from? A career high 17 points for to fly up here for this game. Don't forget the Cats. The cats, that's right. Half a dozen, right? Well, I'm not going to forget the Cats. They beat the Wildcats. They haven't done so well against the Huskies, though. Wrote it down. 14 rebounds, all right? <laughs> On the drive, Taylor, and there's the beat with the block shot. Over 50% from the line before that. AM beats the press, but it's blocked by to beat his second of the night. Not hand so far this year, but he's a score. Oh, nice rejection by the beat. Starts the fast break with that one. And he's going to finish it, too. Boy, you love to see that. He started at one end with his third block shot of the night. Stop inside in this ball game. Down low, Prince wants to go with the beat. And you think the big guy affected the trajectory of that shot? Eugene Harris was his assistant coach. The baseball pass on the finish. Oh, another big one by the big fella inside. The matchup. I like Scotty Reynolds. Oh, he's terrific, isn't he? And the young freshman Corey Fisher is pretty good, too. Prince had one shot blocked. Plague Florida A&M in this first half. They have 12 inside. The shot rejected by Thabit. It's his fifth. Defended by Price. Takes it into the lane. Feeds Prince down low. And there's Thabit's sixth block of the first half. Seven seconds remaining in the half. Here's Price. Starts to go. Knocked away. Thabit. Or make it. Yeah, it's Thabit. And he hits at the buzzer. 
Adrian down low to Sabit, lays it up and in. He blocked seven shots earlier this year, but he did it in two halves, not one. Robinson with the weak side, there's the beat with another block. He scored 21 points this year against Colorado. That's another opponent from a big name conference that Florida A&M has played. The beat with the throwdown. Enjoy head coaching jobs elsewhere, and you can see a very good list there. Inside, well, he's got two thirds of the triple double now. The beat. I think Jim Calhoun will go a little bit, go a little easy on Quinnipiac when Tom Moore's There's another one. There's a ninth block. Bulldogs have emerged as one of the best programs in the country over the last decade. Uh, two, 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 one. And they attack it, right, as they should, right after the big fella. Gonzaga's been taking a lot of difficult shots. If that is a tough shot, Bergani is the time. And that is a really tough <laughs> shot when you try to go over a skyscraper inside. Yep. Feeling 100% the next week. It's a great slip. Oh, beautiful. And the reaction. And a couple key stops they didn't get, but they're playing, they're much improved. Austria goes around the screen from Adrian, found the beat inside. Nice left. Knows what he's doing for a puppy. Northeastern shooting 56% in the early going. And the put back by Thabit. Good sign, the big fella's got two. UConn has played much better defensively. Is doing a job off the boards, out rebounding Northeastern 18-6, and they lead it by four. Ooh. Allen inside, that's only the second block shot of the night for UConn. It looked, it looked like somebody dropped him out of the ceiling. <laughs> in his first season at Northeastern. Adrian down low, Thabit. Goes up. Look at that shot. Great finish. Great he finish. Did, he didn't fall down by himself. No, he did, did he? not. He did not. But that's Dyson. Fakes one way. Then to the beat. The cut. Oh, oh. There you go. Wow. Been waiting for that one for a while. Best teams they played both got over 40 percent on it. The There's the beat with another block shot. The advantage of the free throw opportunities resulting from the personal and the oh, the beat showing some rare range. You know, we don't root for people. We don't root for teams here when we're doing these games. But we certainly root for people. And this kid is really, really coming along. And this has got to be great for his development. Geffen to Cosgrove. Down low. Adrian went for the ball. That's what you call weak side help, huh? <laughs> Split the defense. And they've yet to do that in this possession. Instead, they settle for the three. Thabit with the putback. Rebound Price. Here's a four on two if they hurry. Dyson's got Thabit with him. This is the kind of explosiveness that you want to try to avoid if you put it back in the first 17 minutes. This is the way you run the break. Look at that. That could have wow. even been up high into him, but to beat the catch, the finish. On the right, Robinson with 120 to go in the half. Down low, Zajac. Head fake. That didn't work. To Dyson. Wiggins explodes along the baseline and finds the beat. That was a nice exchange of passing and the more UConn does that mean results in the steal. Cosgrove to Demario Anderson. Nice look inside is Ajak and then the I was gonna say the beat sent it into the cheerleaders but it went way over the heads of the cheerleaders. Good chance to work some different defenses the man to man the zone here. Nice rejection again. Fourth block shot of the afternoon for Thabit. The second generation black bear. His dad played at Maine as zone. That changes everything. They will not be as good rebounding here. Nice look inside. Adrian to Thabit. Back out. Gives you a clean look. 7-0 Huskies run, and here they come again. Find Shikani Bofia, who uses the left lane, and there's a block shot by the Huskies. Down low, Bernal wants to work in on Dyson. Shoots over him. Beat with the block shot. Far can he maintain that kind of intensity and not sort of fall asleep? Jeff Adrian looks like Magic Johnson out there. The way he's distributed. Athletic team. Adrian penetrates, sets up Price to beat with another offensive rebound and the foul on Andre. How about the left for Hashim, huh? You talked earlier about his game. Brother-in-law of Kevin Reed, who was a second-team All-American guard last year, and there's the beat with the seventh block shot for the Huskies in the first half. Adrian with nine rebounds today. Nice screen by Shikani Bofia, but Bernal is rejected by the beat. Maybe that will change things. A year ago, UConn, the Big East, six and two. They finish in 12th place, and there's their 10th block shot of the ballgame, to making this a nightmarish possession for Maine. And there's the 11th block shot with the beat, his seventh. Into the game for UCM. This is Taylor off 
the screen. In tight, swatted away by the beat. Also Noel. Right down the lane, Zondervan swatted out, second block for the beat. Stanley Robinson back in, is an outstanding athlete for the Huskies. Dyson nearly got the pick. Cartwright swatted out by the beat. Price off another Adrian screen. Leaning in, the beat slams it home. Time UCF comes out of a time, they get a good shot. They don't always make it, but they get a good shot. Noel blocked by the beat. Four. Down low, this is Curtis Kelly. And the beat at 7-3. He bangs it down. This is there. Well, he's had 30, 6, 30 win seasons, and now back down to the other end. Seton Hall again uh, goes to a four-point lead. Dyson going down hard the other way, and the beat. He waits for something to fly by. Deep. They had some success early on. Oh. Hazel is rudely rejected by Thabit. Get a piece of it. Back down the other way to Thabit. Big guy uh, puts it up for just then. Ryan goes up on Thabit. Thabit got a piece of it. Backspin on the shot. I, mean, I haven't seen guys shoot the ball out around in a long time with the locking out, the positioning right here. And Thabit with a turnaround jump hook. Notre Dame on Connecticut's possession. This is a key right here. Can Harangodi get anything off on Thabit? Now, right there, he tried to post him up which I don't think is going to be possible tonight. You take a look, the beat stays on his feet, doesn't leave the ground until Heron Goaty leaves the ground. Harris missed, but there's Heron Goaty. And another block by the beat. I can get out and run. It's going to be a long day for the Irish. And speaking of long days, boy, Luke Heron Goaty point. Now those two starting in the same backcourt. The beat inside with the layup. The defensive coordinator yesterday and... He's pretty high in Dallas' chances to get to the Super Bowl. And to be pretty high off the ground as he throws it down there. Beach off the bounce. He's got the transition game. But right now, Notre Dame is just executing tremendously. Well, that was about as quick a move as you'll see from Luke Herringote. Just a quick shot. Kept the beat flat-footed. The beat scores. And about a 10-second difference between the game and shot clocks. Jackson off the screen. Another block by the beat. That's five here in the first half. And Jackson is hurt. Because he didn't call a foul, but I'm not sure the call was warranted. Take a look right here. Oh, that was a clean block. Well, his hand came down on him. That was incidental. It's unfortunate, but it's incidental. After he blocks the shot, his hand comes down on top of Torrey Jackson's head. Protected his vision on that pass right there. Really never went after it. There's another blocked shot by Khabib. So the winner of this game will be 2-0. And what could be a wide-open Big East with all the injuries. How about the beat? Seventh block of the game. He's got about six inches on Heron Goaty. And Heron Goaty's now start to, he's got to realize that discretion is the better part of Valley. Had some luck before, but it ways to get it inside. Heron Goaty, another block. That's three and a half, eight in the game. Heron Goaty got the better of him, but he's called for an offensive foul. And that's the third on Heron. They've got some terrific young players. Calathis, young Jay Lucas. Just a question. Orchard Northeastern led them to several NCAA tournaments before taking the UConn job 22 years ago. Heron Goaty, now 5 of 23 from the field. Boy, they come at you. Think. The beat. Off the glass and in. That was smooth. St. John's had bodies on him. Inbounds with the beat. Up fake and scores. Yes, Salonis. Uh, rejected. Return to sender. Camera under the behind the backboard. He may have a record setting night, but a close up. The close ups in the TV camera he doesn't need. Back off to the freshman, Austin Freeman. Swatted away, and it's the first one of the day. Could be the first of many by the beat. They're still talking about that game he had against Notre Dame about two weeks ago with 10 block shots. Yeah, he is a menace, guys. A lot of NBA guys would like him because he protects that orange, that rim. Anything that comes around there, he will contest it with great ferocity. The guy they're really going to look to build off offensively today. He finds the beat. He'll slam it down. Good look by A.J. Price to find the big fella. They're doing the coaching. Connecticut goes zone. Rivers trying to flip it up, deflect it away from him. The three-pointer for the Huskies can tie this thing up. They look for two and for beats. 
solid job. This game would do it. Hibbert backing down. Shot it away by Kubitz. Sack. Feeding Summers. Another block by Kubitz. The dump down low for Hibbert. Backing down on Kubitz. He blocked the first one. Batted away. He's man to man. Traditional. Fajuku got a step on Robinson, but he made up for it, didn't he? Because they make you pay the price as they finish. 9-0 run, and there's the beat second block of the night. And tough to win on the road in this league. Nice there's block. a block shot by Thabit, his third. Jameen Peterson tried to put it up reverse style. Physically, Rod, they're 13th in the Big East in scoring defense. Inside the beat, counter to the foul. Quickness-wise, and they've been going at it. Well, we've got a tight one here. McKenzie, and it's rejected by Thabit, his fourth block shot of the night. Thabit reverses it to Wiggins. Now inside Thabit, head fake, and there's the fourth field goal of the half. Taking two threes, missed them both. This time he penetrates and sets up Matthews, missed the layup. Keeping it alive, Hayward and Thabit with his first block shot of the day. Quickly Marquette comes the other way and to beat with his second block. Perhaps the best perimeter defender in the league. Shot clock inside five. What a nice look Wiggins to beat. There's Burke with an offensive rebound. Lost the handle. Gets it back. Went back up. Lost the handle again. And to beat swatted away and we get a hell ball. Victory over Notre Dame by Marquette. Of course it was at home. Inbound it to beat. Will it count? Yes, indeed, and the foul. Marquette fell asleep on the inbound. I love to see him play. I love that full-body massage that they give teams playing uh, defense. Inside Barrow with the miss. Yep, about uh, uh, three blocks from the gym. Dyson to oh. three. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Defensive team, but they sure weren't the other night against oh. <laughs> Ninth block of the game for UConn. And number five for the big fella. Except, except he needs to keep it in play. That ball just goes back to Marquette. Watch this. Chuck and duck. After losing to Louisville by 20 and losing by 21 today. Huh? There's another block shot by Thabit who got up in the air so high that his foot was at the level of James's head. And he gets Syracuse, Villanova, and Pittsburgh in this building has been very, very admirable. Well, the key today during shoot around for Cincinnati, no surprise, block out, block out, and more block out. <laughs> Disparity as well. Robinson missing, but the beat with an offensive rebound and the put back with the right hand. This is all bonus right now, what you're getting from the beat. And 14 against Pittsburgh in a low scoring game. There are no seniors on the UConn roster. These breakaways, and then they got into their press. Wiggins on the break, hands it off to Thabit, who slams it home. 6 nothing run by the Huskies, and they have quieted this crowd for right. Hadn't taken a shot all game, hadn't made a shot all game. Makes a three to win it. UConn forces the turnover, out of control, but Thabit gets the basket and a foul. Down to 10. Wiggins on a catch and shoot. Good position by Thabit. Reverse layup scores, and he is fouled. Where is this offense coming from? <laughs> to Jeff Adrian. Here comes Price. Dump off the beat basket and put him at the free throw line, and that's how quickly UConn gets into its offense. The five and the four for UConn. The beat over nice. White. Yes, it was. And there you see that difference in size. A.J. Price at the point, number 12. Harris by Bassett, but he finds the beat. And then hats off really to the young good. man who yep. probably started his career as unsteady as anybody that's coming to college basketball in a while for various reasons. Both held down his dribble penetration. Gordon had all kinds of problems with that in the first half. Nice job by the beat. Get the rebound and the putback. The possible hill ball. It's on the floor. Adrian. Follow is good for beat. The young Connecticut team is just picking his ball game. Ellis. That last basket was Stanley Robinson. <laughs> there was the beat with Robinson. That's who want to get the ball down low. Oh, baby. On that first line. Yes. Including great pass. And the beat with a dunk. Sound asleep was Indiana. Great job deflecting from the rear, so you got to protect when you get ahead. 
to beat the offensive rebound. He's one of the most improved players in the country, averaging 11 points per game this year. And so he is still very much a work in progress. And Jim Calhoun says as a coach, in a lot of ways, that's a good thing because he doesn't have any bad habits that you have to break. Everything is new to him. Well, Earl Clark just not getting in front to box him out. To beat was the guy that had inside position. Uh, there he is again with inside position and then some. Well, you've got to attack. That would be the blue and white kid, Dale. He has contacts that we don't know how he has them. He gets information that, that he's just out of this world. So. Pretty did their heydays. Well, those those, those things, are, they're, they're not high school. Pretty. Oh, oh, the throwdown by the beat. And he was fouled by Terrence Williams. Woo! The throwdown for the showdown. Well, you love the effort defensively, but the big fella gets a great catchable pass here. How about execution against the press? Send it semi in, big fella. And that's a play, Bill, that he would not have made last year. That's the improvement of Hashim Fabit. Oh, and now a big steal. He coaches every kid, Rick, though. They're all going to be ready. Great help! The beat rejects Clark. So well below the bonus, the first personal and Kelly Sosa. Strong to the bucket, and then Fabit blocked it from behind. He thought he would be clever going to the opposite side. He gave the big fella room to work and get it. It was what a delivery. A great only offensive foul. No whistle, and then the lob for Fabit from Austria. Blair tries to get from under. There's the beat with a block. Leads the Big East and blocks. Look at Fields. Here's Austrian with the ball. And the beat, yes. There's Sam Young, and the cold shooting continues for him. The beat with the block. Pittsburgh missed its last seven shots from the field in the first half. Or altered at least. Here's Beverly. Nice find. The beat. Beautiful pass. As the beat running the floor for a big man did a good job. Now the crowd decides to get into it. Well, session. Gilbert Brown. The beat with the block. They did. Young couldn't get the ball out of his hands quickly enough. Now look, you beat your man. Where do you think you're going? You're going right into the beat. The great shot blocker and, and he almost catches this ball in midair and starts the fast break himself. Paul Harris is everywhere. There's the Beats who stuffs it down with authority. And here's Flynn again. Jackson wants to go right in, and the Beat blocks him. Pulls his way, and it's the Beat with the block. Green finding Harris. There's the Beat's third block of the night. Here's Flynn to rot now for Syracuse. A great dish. And that time Harris lost the handle, got it back to beat with another deflection. Huskies, the best in the country at that. Green bouncing. Oh, okay. he's inside, can't get that one. Denied again. Get out with the swipe. Harris. Oh, no, the spin. There's another block in close. That one by Thabit. Here it go. Coming up on six minutes to go. Flynn wriggling inside. There's the beat again to deny. Austria. Boy, what a quick move under the legs. Robinson bouncing for the big fella, and Thabit lays it in. Really good pass. Just good patience. And now Jim Beheim wants to use a timeout. Early minutes. Lawal. Nice move to his left, but blocked. And for Amino. Here's Wiggins with the shot. That short, the beat floating into the lane, backs and ends. Well, that time, Bell with that block. Wiggins with the theft goal at midcourt. Underneath, it's the beat to stuff it down. Half-court break. The zone was a great call. One, it protects you from foul trouble. The beat on the baseline, that'll roll in. Good touch that time. The wall wants to keep it. Working on the beat. We'll see how this works out. There's the block. That's number two. The beat says, maybe not a good idea. Well, here's what you can't have. You can't have space between you and the beat when you try to, to attack him. You have got to put your chest in his chest. And watch the space that's going to be between the two bodies. He's going to stay on his feet, and he's not going to body up. Because you know what? He's not going to give the official a chance to call him for a foul there. Is there a better shot blocker in America? Not that I've seen. Not even close. Once again, going inside while jumping in. 
It looked like the beat might have had a fingertip on it. Load here down the stretch of the first half. Wide open to beat back in, slams it down. Points a game or 17 points a game in conference play. Fazi on the drive, got his shot deflected and out again by the beat his fourth block of the first half. He's been a monster again. Prince player of the year, and that's saying a lot given everything he has been through. Alina, another block by the beat. There's number five. Coach in Charlotte, North Carolina, and understands the game and just a sweet, sweet shooter. The beat stops it and the foul will go to the line. 13 for the big fella in the first half. Peacock with his third foul, 29. Seven seconds left before halftime. Wiggins launches. Again, to beat up and in. Another rebound for him. What a terrific half he had. 15 points, 10 rebounds, 5 blocks. Nothing yet from Paul Hewitt. The wall pulling his way in. And he's denied. Wiggins looking for it to beat, taking his time for the stuff. Good patience under there. Osprey glanced at it. On the drive, gets around Peacock. Gave it up to beat with the leaner just in time. Confidence right now. Osprey. Here's Wiggins. The bounce with the beat. So quick to the rim at 7 3. Now, this was Dougie Wiggins going off the bounce, that ability to get into that paint area, and then the dump down. Dribble drives was something Georgia Tech was concerned about because of that rotation. Rotation, you force your post player to come up, and it's an easy finish for the beat. Robinson out fighting Jackson for the ball. The beat with the foul and a foul. You gotta get your money's worth on the big fella if you're gonna follow him down there. Six attempts outside the arc, three point range here tonight. Aaron go to jump hook, rejected, gets his own shot back. Got numbers. Ooh. That was get it out of here with the block shot. As Zeller challenges inside and then may care attitude. They, they really don't think about too much other than pure 100% effort. And see, perfect example right there. Heron Gody didn't get the finish, but the beat stuffed him and he came right back and put it up again. His first three of the ball game. McElarney tries to answer. Jackson out touch for the rebound. Oh. Is rejected into the second seats. Second row of seats. <laughs> By the sheep, the beat. Are wow. you kidding me? His sixth block of the ball game. Oh my! Like he was shot out of a cannon. And you were right. I guess the Bulls—they've really embraced this so far. They certainly are not backing down. Here come the Huskies with a chance to tie. Take the lead with a three inside the beats. He's fouled and won. That'll tie. He'll have a chance to take the lead for the strike. Do you slowly insert him back in, but if he's uh, your best all-around player, do you put him right back in? And what happens? Verdejo. Wow, it's pinned up by the beat. <laughs> now you watch this right here. I mean, the timing of this guy to go up and get that ball on its way up and pin it. Oseman. Well, I thought he was going to shoot it from up there. Down on the baseline. Gransbury rejected again. That's the beat. One, two. <laughs> the beat turns. Wow. Rifles it off the glass. House. There's a lot of people in the house and for a Saturday in Florida at 12 o'clock. That's pretty good. Another block. A little bit of that weave, which I personally love. The beats. A little stick back. He's got six. Week yesterday, he has been magnificent. In fact, Jerry Wainwright told me, Ron, he would get, Price would get his vote for player of the year in the conference. Keep the country in that category better than eight blocks a game. Inside the beat, he was in the sweet spot, and Green compounded the problem by fouling him. Huskies beat the press. Adrian looks inside, finds the beat, who's just eating Green alive inside. Attempt for DePaul, see if they can capitalize inside. Tosh Wall, the freshman, spins on Adrian. There's the beat with the block, is 108th of the year. Overall, they're 5-7 and seven in the Big East. Wiggins, who's been instant offense, inside to Gavin Edwards. Another rebound by Thabit. Now, the big man, very, very active. Times when he plays poorly, he feels embarrassed, and he takes it personally. Well, that's the easiest block wow. shot he's ever had. Foul line, Saturday in Tampa. 
Huskies two for two from three-point range, and Thabit sent that one to your old coach, <laughs> George Blaney. Look like hands. a shortstop. <laughs> one hop that on the bench. Being into a half-court possession type game, I think DePaul like to keep the pace there. This is the beat again, huh? His fourth block <laughs> shot of the night. During the game, opponent shooting only 38%. Clint scale on the drive, and boy, the beat just lured him into that one, didn't he? He was so open early. There he is. Wiggins, good look. Well, he just took a shot. <laughs> I'd say he got the shot, snuck right in there. Got to really keep your poise here with the crowd involved. Green gets a step on the beat. Well, I'll tell you what, Ron, I'm not at all convinced that the beat doesn't do that on purpose. Let you get a half step on it <laughs> and then catch up. I'll tell you what, he does cover some ground, doesn't he, with the reach as well as the height because he, he's beaten by a step here. But a lot of those blocks with the left hand. Great effort that time. If they can get it done. They have nine times in a row. Oh, nice move. Oh, it's the eighth block shot of the night for the beat. A pretty good bump right there with Price and Wiggins and Austri. See if he'll kick it out. The big fella wants it. The beat spins. He's got 16. And there's the first lead for UConn since they led 29-28 to begin the half. The offensive guy. Make him go someplace he doesn't want to go. Oh, the beat. His first block of the game. And his 116th on the season. He's got more blocks than nine Big East teams have this year. Well, here it's his own man. Cunningham. Didn't create enough room. The second half to DePaul last week and came back to win that game. Off the beat with authority, his second block. Robinson keeps it alive after the Austrian miss. Now the high low comes, no help. And the beat gets a straight entry pass and he's able to do them with it. The beat with another easy two as they're going to him now in the low block. And well, Villanova's going to call a timeout. Well, they're taking away the opposite guy and giving the beat an opportunity. And it seems to beat again, who has become tremendously improved inside low. He didn't get an awful lot of opportunities in the first half, but his team is looking to exploit him all the way. And the beat, certainly when he gets the ball down on the block, not disappointing. Just rising to the occasion. Remaining first half. Inman is rejected by Fabit. 51-45. Hobart is rejected by Fabit. The Huskies lead to two earlier in this half. Engine. Fabit got a piece of it. Dennis had it knocked away by Adrian. Left alive by the Scarlet Knights. Inman is rejected by Fabit. Again, I heard about this party today. I knew inside that Connecticut leads the conference, leads the nation, and blocks shots. Pettis. And Thabit got a piece of it. Another block shot for Thabit. Oh. Out near uh, averaging about 36 rebounds. There's a block by Thabit, his first. Janneville, another rebound, and here comes West Virginia now, trying to fight back. Inside, there's another rejection. Not sure who got that one. Was it the big guy? <laughs> Robinson is true. I, I think what people are trying to get through is just because you're making some, don't fall in love with him. Big like time him. block by Fabik. Great job by Efedrupa to outbattle his man Price in the backcourt. That's block number one for Hashim Fabik. Everybody knows it inside the Big East, though. He's up this production the last eight games to average a double-double. They are so battle-tested. Played in so many close games. The jump shot on the way by Price. Off the back of that iron, and the rebound comes free. The beat right back up, and the foul. He'll go to the line. Hashim Thabit staying with it. Flyers at about 12 points per game. Hanky up against Hashim Thabit. Maybe the last time he does that tonight. Oh, and Joel Lenardi has him last four out. <laughs> Syracuse that lost. Jim Beheim said it was probably the worst of his career. Thabit flips it in. This evening, ranked number 14 in America. Shot clock down to eight. Nice bounce pass, but there's Hashim to beat with the stuff. With and there are times where you need a mistake eraser. Welcome Hashim to beat. EJ Price kind of demanding a blowout from his team. That one tipped to Wiggins. Nice feed and on the baseline it's Hashim to beat again. The four block shots already. Adrian so strong with that left hand. Oh, the finish by Hashim to beat. Giving up too many second chance opportunities to a very good team. Another touch that time. The crowd wanted a goaltend. Welsh is hopping mad. The block. 
On the run, McKenzie, and now here's Efrajuka right down the lane. Hashim Thabit will send it back. He likes TV. You said that in break. A six-point lead for the Flyers. The beat tips it to himself and banks it in. Wants to play this game in the 80s. I think Cincinnati would prefer the game in the 60s. That ball knocked away. Adrian from 15. No. The beat with the rebound. With the left hand, yes. Hashem the beat. I don't think the NCAA committee is going to like me helping them select. Davis, well, he went up high to get that rebound. That's blocked by the beat. At 6 p.m. on ESPNU. Stanley Robinson misses the jumper. The beat collects. Basket is good. I don't think I've seen a 30 to nothing run. Davis hangs in the air. Well, McLean, that's pinned against the glass by the beat. Robinson plays well in the postseason. His energy, his athleticism, how we can get easy baskets, and that's what we do. The beat from the free throw line. Hits the jumper boy. If he adds that to his game, watch out. Check. Kenny Belton, and that is blocked. That is block number five for Thabit. And Belton, that's number six. Number seven. Wow. That's impressive right there. And the fans are going to give it up. Up out of their seats, recognizing the fine defense. Big fella playing ping pong in there. Doesn't get challenged right now. You know, he's really just sitting back, and the game is pretty easy. But right now, it's Ping Pong City, bam. It looks, looks pretty easy. Ping Pong City, bam. Get the rebound. Finish it, block, get the rebound, and get it out. 57 to go second half. They break the press. Off street. The beat, the big hammer. Now, that's what I like to see. Execution. Inbounds play. You're taking the ball out. You're working against the press. You want to execute going into the postseason. A nice dish. Watch your head. This is what we call watch your head. Air traffic control. Watch out. Got themselves in the tournament. Well, I like Syracuse because they have some excitement. I like the fact that, you know, what are you thinking if you're UConn right now and you have key players on the court? The Up 50 points. A little jump hook. Tough shot. Pretty good adjustment there. 63 pounds, a sophomore from Tanzania. Get it out. There's another block shot. Here comes another. How about the way he kept on the floor until Smith left the floor himself? And the deft delivery. Nice interior passing to beat from Robinson and a chance for the three-point play. Match Adrian down on the low block. Henty finds the cutting. Johnson is rejected by Hashim Thabit. You're Bill Greer, you're looking up saying, oh, there's one SWAT, and now they're bringing in, oh, let's see, another 6'9 guy from Mesquite High School in Gilbert, Arizona, Gavin Edwards. If you keep me in single digits, I'm okay. <laughs> Whenever I have to carry something, I'm in trouble. Brandon Johnson has it rejected again. That's number two for the beat. Jermaine Johnson, Brandon Johnson. That's the man. Palmer rejected by the beat. The beat on the offensive boards. Wasn't exactly authoritative, but he got it through. Making, especially, you know, we know what he does on the offensive end. The beat. That's easy. Now Dyson gets it on the act. Adrian goes duck under, but Thabit is there. Count it and a foul. Jones sets the pick. Brandon Johnson fading away. Jones on the glass, rejected by Thabit. Foul trouble and sitting for much of the second half. I, I didn't consider Western Kentucky over Drake an upset. I would consider this to be a monumental upset. Thabit gets the easy one, well designed out of the timeout.